The case goes back to August 27, 1994. After meeting a violent end, Melanie White was just 27 when police found her remains in a wash near the Lake Mead Recreation Area. And as we work through the, you know, the cold case log, we're hoping to get some newer cases where we can actually get some real, you know, perpetrators off the street one day. Very limited information about Lavery due to the fact that he was pronounced deceased in May of 2021 from com complications with COVID. The effect of the, her death really shattered my mother. For never giving up on finding Melanie's killer, we're very, very grateful for the contributions of the Vegas Justice League. It was that hot August day back in 1994 when human bones were found along the desert terrain near Lake Mead. It would have brutally crushed any new hope for a starting Melanie White. She moved to the city with some promise of a new life, but within days turned violent and her family submerged into agony of questioning for decades. For nearly 30 years, her unsolved murder cast a shadow of mystery and heartbreak. It wasn't until forensic science took a giant leap forward that detectives finally uncovered the truth. They identified her killer through groundbreaking DNA technology and forensic genealogy, but he had already escaped justice in this life, a man who would never face trial. This tells the story of one family's quest for answers and a community's perseverance in seeking closure from a cold case that seemed to be lost in time. The case goes back to August 27, 1994. Two hikers found the body of White near Lake Mead. The autopsy determined she'd been strangled and beaten. With all leads exhausted, the trail went cold. Melanie White is a 27-year-old soft-spoken woman for she loves the latest fashions and carries with her a warm smile that could brighten up any room. Melanie had just made a huge move to Las Vegas, Nevada. She was now living with her young boyfriend, starting a new life for the two of them. Life wasn't easy, but for Melanie, she was very hopeful about her future and young son. Family members and close friends would later describe Melanie as a lovable person full of life and therefore easily loved by everyone who ever knew her. Then tragedy struck in August of 1994, changing Melanie's family's lives forever. About a week prior to her disappearance, Melanie had been with friends whom she laughs with over the local store and shares laugh and all hope about school. She had no idea that these regular good days were to be some of her last. August 27, 1994. Two hikers wandered through a remote wash area on the shores of Lake Mead, otherwise teeming with recreational activity, just an hour outside Las Vegas. The two chanced upon a site that would forever etch itself in their minds and forever brand the place. A young woman was lying in the unforgiving desert landscape. It was a shocking view, and the hikers immediately called for authorities. Unaware of the identity of the victim or the terrible story that soon would come to be known, the police were prompt in reply. And so, when the investigators reached the place, they made an intensive search of the ground for any lead that may have crossed its attention. The finding of the woman's corpse filled the minds with a plethora of pending questions. Who is she? How did she get that far from civilization? Most importantly, who is behind such a gruesome murder? In days, her identity was confirmed to be Melanie White, a Las Vegas resident of recent vintage, who apparently had a promising life before her. The postmortem revealed that she had died due to strangulation, and evidences also posed of blunt force trauma along with a violent struggle. Evidence indicated she was dragged from an automobile and dumped in the desert, where the elements already were taking their toll on her body. As far as cold cases go, this one was frozen. A woman disappeared in 1994 after meeting a violent end. Melanie White was just 27 when police found her remains in a wash near the Lake Mead Recreation Area. She'd been beaten and strangled to death and dragged there by a car. Her body was found to have injuries consistent with being physically assaulted and was apparently left without any attempt made at hiding the body. Detectives were interviewing Melanie's family and friends in the initial days of the investigation looking for an individual who could help them make sense out of what had driven her to this untimely death. They queried her boyfriend, friends, and acquaintances where she was last, whom she might have been with. 
any conflicts or threats she might have received in the last few days. It mushroomed within days to include anyone she had ever met in those last days, and even last weeks before she died, as police worked around the clock piecing together a profile of her last hours. Friends of Melanie recall her to be a cheerful woman who was excited about beginning a new life in Las Vegas. They said she was highly elated, happy with the new surroundings, and was so hopeful for the future. However, after conducting further investigation, they found that life in Las Vegas was not always full of positives. There were negatives. Melanie's family and friends became concerned about some of the people she started to hang out with, and possibly what risks she might have exposed herself to by leaving. Yet still, there wasn't a clue suspect in those early days. Without any witnesses or apparent motives, the detectives couldn't make any solid connections and found their minds unraveling. The investigation was in shambles. Months became years, and the case slowly went cold. The murder files were tucked away, stored, and her case became another unsolved mystery. One of the many tragic losses marked with faded memories and unanswered questions. Her family wound will stay gaping since till today. It is quite impossible to give a closure as they live with the anguish of not knowing who took Melanie away from them. Her son, too young then to really understand, would grow up minus a mother and always haunted by the mystery surrounding her death. By 2010, the case was reopened and forensic science had advanced to a level that detectives felt new methods might help them open a lead that had remained out of bounds prior to that. Therefore, investigators reviewed all evidence taken at the scene and went through every item in light of advancements since the 1990s. The single most important discovery that was all important was a male DNA sample found upon some of the materials taken from the victim's body. This was earth-shattering. It was a sample of DNA link-up that could lead investigators directly to Melanie's killer. This was an exciting development for the detectives, but in many ways, their hopes were dashed when the DNA profile did not match any existing profiles in CODIS, the combined DNA index system used by law enforcement agencies across the country. The discovery of DNA profile, on one hand, brought in hope but frustration at the same time because it unearthed the shortcomings of the technology and resource then. It pinned the detectives to a dead end. Having genetic evidence in hand, no suspect to connect them with. Years came and went. The family of Melanie was stuck in the cycle of hope and despair, as yet each reminder of justice not served continued to live on. A new wave of innovation swept through forensic science in 2021, and with it, a renewed sense of hope to solve the Maloney case. Forensic genetic genealogy, an advanced technique of DNA analysis started transforming the forensic field of criminal investigation. Not only analyzing DNA but identifying familial connections and pointing to possible relatives of an unknown suspect. From this approach, the investigators developed family trees, tracing lineages which took them straight to one person who was never found on any of their criminal databases. In fact, Forensic genetic genealogy had already earned its worth by solving cases like that of the Golden State Killer, which remained a mystery for decades until law enforcement tracked down and arrested the individual. Featuring a breakthrough with this great success, the investigators of Las Vegas chose this direction for Melanie's case. Costs and complexity were involved, so they sought the help of this nonprofit group called Vegas Justice League. Lydia Ansel and Justin Wu are co-founders of the League. The detectives who have been working on this and Authorm Lab who have been, you know, finding answers, they're the ones who do all the work. But just to be a small part of that, you just feel the impact of that and it's overwhelming. And as we work through the, you know, the cold case log, we're hoping to get to newer cases where we can actually get some real, you know, perpetrators off the street one day. This latter organization was made up to solve cold cases in the Las Vegas area by helping the law enforcement agencies get the necessary funding when experts needed to conduct advanced forensic analysis upon some new evidence. Justin Wu founded the Vegas Justice League. This league had already solved many cold cases. 
Fundraising to find out who killed Melanie was no problem for the League. Investigators took their evidence to Authoram, the lone Texas-based lab specializing in forensic genealogy. Built on a model of degraded, mixed, or otherwise complicated DNA, Authoram had earned a reputation as the laboratory of choice for law enforcement agencies nationwide. In the lab, the geneticists and genealogists did the best they could to develop a genetic profile that would be incisive in tracing and proving family ties. Over months of fine analysis, they were finally able to produce a usable profile that the detectives could use for comparison with public databases. As the investigators and detectives viewed this tree map, they were meticulous with every branch and managed to detail every inch closer to identifying the attacker who had murdered Melanie. As of August 2024, a breakthrough occurred. DNA matched a profile to a man who had been living in the Las Vegas area when Melanie was murdered, Arthur Joseph Lavery. Lavery had some pretty minor crime on his sheet, mostly minor offenses, nothing remotely serious that would have flagged him as a suspect in a homicide. He moved to California and lived there quietly until his death in 2021, when complications from COVID-19 took him. Very limited information about Lavery due to the fact that he was pronounced deceased in May of 2021 from com complications with COVID. We do know that Lavery attended local high school here in Las Vegas and appears to have grown up here in the Las Vegas area and worked numerous jobs. There was something profoundly frustrating and bittersweet about Lavery's passing. The detectives had uncovered Melanie's suspected killer, but would never know what it felt like to stand before him as a witness in court. For there would be no trial, no day in court, and for Melanie's family, no chance to face him. With the photo in her hand, detectives scheduled a low-key press conference so as to let Melanie's family and the public at large know the breakthrough they had. On October 22, 2024, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department held a low-key press conference. This was with members of Melanie's family, representatives from the Vegas Justice League, and the forensic experts who had worked tirelessly on the case. As the news was relayed, Melanie's family members sat in the front pew, their faces reflecting a mix of relief and sadness. Brothers to Melanie, Jason and Walter White commented to the media after the killing. Jason was a student when they heard of the killing news of his sister. He remembered all those years of suffering and pain that his family went through and suffered. Effect of the, her death really shattered my mother. That was probably the biggest ongoing thing for our family was that my mom was just absolutely destroyed. She was a super kind heart. She was just a really nice person. That was tragic. I just want to say how grateful we are to the officers of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department uh, for never giving up on finding Melanie's killer. We're very, very grateful for the contributions of the Vegas Justice League, whose donation for DNA testing by the police allowed the police to crack the case. They had carried the uncertainty for nearly three decades, replaying the final days of their daughter in their heads, wondering what really had gone on. Now that Lavery had been named, they could at least put some of that anguish she haunts them with to rest. Walter was talking about Melanie's kindness and warmth qualities that had been brutally and unfairly taken from the world. As Walter pointed out, they would never get a chance to see Lavery in the courtroom, but they welcomed the finality which forensic genealogy brought. This was a big win for the Vegas Justice League, which spent countless hours and resources solving the case of Melanie. Founder Justin Wu said how the support of the community has allowed the forensic testing, which identified Lavery. Wu said that through community involvement, Numerous cold cases can be solved by stating that each donation brings investigators one step closer to justice. Melanie White's case finally closed. The family felt the weight of sorrow side by side with the relief in knowing the truth at last. While Arthur Lavery had always run away from the justice that characterized his earthly presence, his identity opened up a story of darkness brought in the open. They would hold on to her memory, cherish the kindness, that she brought into their lives and the joy.
It was decades in the making and more momentous because of the tenacity and might of science, perseverance, and community action for justice. Melanie's story could no longer be limited to shadows through the determination of investigators and the supportive actions of the Vegas Justice League. This family could finally start on their long road to healing knowing the mystery had ended. They stood in Melanie's name, reminders that love and resolve might thaw even the greatest cold silences. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to Crime Stories for more exciting new content. Your support brings our new stories and insights. To the next video, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you then.